and it's been a little while. Um, if you haven't watched my exhaust comparison video, go ahead and check that out. But yes, I now have a vibrant uh, performance muffler on the exhaust. Totally changes the sound, quiets it down quite a bit. It's not so raspy, it's not so just ricer-y, ricey, whatever you want to call it. Um, but today I'm going to show you guys something that I have vaguely mentioned. You've probably seen it in the background of some of my Instagram posts. Um, I don't post on Facebook much. I really should post a little more on Facebook other than like funny stuff and Star Wars stuff. But that's besides the point. But we have that now. Somebody said something that kind of hit me and it was uh, never have two vehicles serving the same purpose. And this and the Forerunner kind of serve the same purpose. So we have this, of course, Kagan's at work, which is why the Forerunner's not here. So we have this, this is also the new tow rig, my new daily driver, still drive the Mazda for now, still got insurance and tag and all that crap on it. But today I'm gonna show you something on this that uh, you can't see from here, but kind of needs to be fixed. So walking up the Yukon, I mean, it's, it's a 2002 GMC Yukon, I mean, nothing crazy. But, pretty sure your headlights are not supposed to, like, wobble like that. And it's both of them. Like, they're going to fall out. I mean, if I hit, when I hit a bump, they go like that. And the uh, same with the parking lights. That one's still in. But that one's clearly, like, ready to fall out. So, we have a solution for that. We have new headlights and parking lights from carparts.com, which is sweet. Also got new tires on the Yukon. Uh, if you saw me driving around on it with like mismatched tires, that's what was on it when I bought it and they were all pretty bald. But thanks to working at Michelin who also owns BF Goodrich and Uniroyal, I have some brand new Uniroyal Laredos on there. Sweet. But let's get to opening this up and get those headlights in. Oh, one thing I want to mention, um, that I see a lot of people do still uh, make this mistake, and it's one I've made too. I think everybody has made. Guys, when you're doing a modification on your car, open up your boxes, make sure your part numbers are right, make sure that everything is what it's supposed to be, because if it's not, and then you go and tear your whole car apart, I mean, this, it won't be a big deal because you still have the Mazda to drive. Um, and I'm sure I could rig the headlights back in where, you know, they stay like they are. But make sure you have the right parts, um, whether it's for the race car, this, this, whatever. Just make sure you have what it is that you ordered or, you know, make sure you ordered the right thing. Um, so just do your research. I know that seems kind of dumb and kind of stupid, uh, but I see a lot of people make that mistake. So just make sure you have everything you need. Pretty daggum clean under here. Um, 266,000 miles on it now. I'm gonna be changing that belt soon. Um, probably hasn't even ever been changed to be honest with you. But for 2002, 266,000 miles on it, 265,000 on it when we bought it. Uh, we've had it for a little while now. We got it back in December. It's in pretty damn good shape. So let's get to doing this. Um, I'm sure you guys know, this is kind of a common thing. There's not a ton of videos, or there are a ton of videos, I should say. All you do to change a headlight in a Yukon, Tahoe, Suburban, whatever, Silverado in this generation is pop these two suckers out. Oh yeah, it's got a pretty new battery on it. I mean, the date's not old at all whatsoever so uh and then ta-da i just pull it out and uh unplug it the old headlight and there's what was wrong that was broken that is of course supposed to be attached to there but yeah that doesn't do us a whole lot of good cat scratch me if you're wondering um but yeah let's get these new ones Definitely. opened up uh pretty obvious these are much better shape. No, I didn't go with any sort of fancy aftermarket headlights. I just went with 
uh, replacement headlights. This is the daily, this is the tow rig. Um, and you know, I don't, can't really afford to modify this thing and try to modify the race car as well. Um, it's not very, very uh, financially responsible of me, but these needed to be replaced. So let's get them in. tab right here. Just kind of push that in. And ta-da! Comes out. Super easy. Really, really easy. Like I said, there's tons of videos on this, so I'm not really going to go into depth with doing the other side. Um, but there you can see how they come out. Of course, you just snap them back in and put your pins back in uh, for the headlights once you're done. Like it, it doesn't get any simpler than that. We have this side done. No more floppy headlight. Came with bulbs already in it, which is great. And yeah, so now I'm gonna do the other side and then uh, I guess I'll give you a rundown of the, the inside of it, which is pretty rough, but it'll do. There we go, guys. They are in. Uh, this is sagging down, which is why there's that big gap underneath, but it's okay. It's a tow rig, it's a daily. It's meant to just get me from A to B and get us to the track and back home. So, there you go. Now to throw all this crap away. I'll show you the interior or what's left of it, I should say. Uh, everybody knows these things are not very well taken care of by the vast majority of people that own them. So, like the headliners, uh, the actual uh, fabric of the headliner has come down probably because it was sagging and they got tired of it and probably ripped it out. Um, dash is correct. You know, typical GMC Yukon. Is it really a GM product if the dash is not correct? Sorry, you can roast me in the comments. I grew up around classics. That's just how it goes. Um, but, uh, yeah, other than that, uh, seats need to be redone. But, but the heated seats do work. I tried them out yesterday. And they actually do work. Um... Everything runs, purrs like a kitten, uh, transmission shifts fine. Um, although it is a 4L60E, so I'm probably going to rebuild it or whatever at some point in the future. But for 2,700 bucks, it's not a bad deal. And you know, we don't, we can't justify buying a brand new Tahoe or tell you right or anything like that um and this thing's gonna get used i like heavily used um i'm already driving it back and forth to work every single day so you know we're not really uh sweating and this is my daily driver um kagan's forerunner is in a lot better condition on the inside her paint's kind of rough but that's another story but i mean radio works the heat works. Uh, AC needs to be recharged. It blows, but it doesn't blow very cold. Um, so I guess before it gets hot, we need to do that. And uh, which, of course, here in the south happens a lot faster than everywhere else. But yeah. I'm glad I had this nice, beautiful Friday afternoon to do this. Even though I'm supposed to be asleep because I go to work tonight. And it's 2.30. But I slept all night last night. Well, a large portion of the night last night. So I'm just going to have to tough it out tonight. But yeah. She runs. She drives. She uh, she works. Traction control works. It's got tow package on it. Uh, so we shouldn't have any issue towing the E36. And I guess at some point I've got to save up for a trailer. And I'm sorry if I can't post a ton right now because i'm working so much overtime that uh it, it hurts my feelings um i'm i'm pulling a lot of overtime i'm i'm trying to get the e36 where i want it to be i'm trying to get cars for the cure more importantly where i want it to be and i'm trying to get our home where we want it to be so in order to do that you've got to put in some extra hours where you can and with my job, luckily working 12 hours, 
a day means that I have lots of days where I'm off or would be off that I'm now not off. Um, so other than our honeymoon, you know, our wedding and honeymoon, we are not really, uh, or I'm not really taking a lot of time off. So, yeah. but you do what you gotta do. That's how it goes. Um, you know, wife, three kids, it's a lot. Uh, I mean, it's a lot. And any, any father or husband will, will tell you that. Even with one kid, it's a lot. Um, but we're going to keep at it. I'm going to do my best to keep popping out videos. And I've recorded other stuff, but it never really amounted to anything worth editing and posting. So I'm just kind of going at it like this. And uh, I swear to God, if John gave me his cold, I'm going to be so mad. John's my son. If you know, you know. You know what I'm talking about. But we're going to go inside, try to get some sleep. Our headlights are in. They work. So, yeah. Time to go get some sleep. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh, tell me what you want to see next. Tell me what you want to see at Grid Life Midwest. We are going to Grid Life Midwest. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Grid Life is a motorsports festival slash music festival. Uh, Midwest is their home turf. That is where they started. And uh, it was a lottery this year. So we are going this year. Um, still running an HPDE. Um, been talking to Adam, and uh, who uh, is a co-founder of Grid Life, and talking to a few other people who have been in Grid Life a lot longer and have a lot more experience than me, and kind of just deciding what direction I want to go with the car. Um, I am thinking about running the car at Grid Life Midwest stripped of the arrow, um, just to build more driver control. Um, or I'll do like I did in Colorado and pull it all off, run a whole day without it, and then, you know, put it back on and kind of uh, feel out where it's working, you know. And, uh, yeah, we'll just keep at it. So, yeah, I'm going to bed, and we're going to uh, continue on this grind, if you will and get ready for this 2022 season because we've got big plans. But in order to make big plans happen, you have to put in the work. And, uh, but hit me up, Justin CFC on Instagram, uh, Justin Okamoto on Facebook. Most of you guys already have me that watch this. Um, I was told I should make a fan page for people to just go and like, but my channel's not big enough for that. Um, but shout out to all of the amazing sponsors that I work with or partners that I work with. I don't, you know, I don't like that word sponsor. Um, Ultimate Motorsports and Racing, obviously. Fortune Auto, the best dudes in the whole wide freaking world. Um, Kinematic Speed, who did my uh, the roll bar in my car. Um, did a phenomenal job with that. Race German, makes some great products. Um, offers some great services has all your torque specs that you need, so on and so forth. Um, AM Innovation, Austin is super freaking rad. Uh, the Middle Photography and Graphics, who designed the livery on my car. Um, Bridge Moto, for keeping me safe in the car. Um, Nine Lives Racing, for keeping you know my car planted and helping me go faster. Um, and for those who say the arrow doesn't work on low horsepower cars, there's plenty of evidence out there to prove otherwise, um, and plenty of records and other drivers out there that you can talk to that will tell you otherwise. Um, and Falcon Tires. Uh, yes, I do work for Michelin, uh, but Falcon Tires are a bit more affordable. They're quite sticky, uh, and they do very well on track. And I need to order a second set to put on my 16-inch wheels that I got from Ted. Um, Ted Theodore, for those of you in the motorsports world, you more than likely know that name. Uh, especially if you're in the hill climbs. If you're in hill climbs, you more than likely, most certainly know Ted's name. Um, 
a truly great friend who has been a wonderful mentor and guide um, for me in my motorsports journey um, coming from nothing. But yeah, we, uh, we got a lot to do and I need to learn how to shut up and end these videos. So peace out, you guys. Love you all. Thank you so much. Like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe. Ugh, I can't talk and share. So peace out, guys. And I will see you maybe at uh, Cars and Coffee and Comics on Sunday. Maybe I'll see you wherever. Maybe I'll see you at UMR. So Ultimate Motorsports and Racing, Carolina Stance Shop, and Coleman Coatings, for those of you who don't know, are all in the same shop now. You can have your stance car and your race car built in the same place. It's freaking awesome. Go check them out. I will put all of their social media links, um, or at the very least their Facebook links in the comment section, or not in the comment section, I'm sorry, in the description of this video below. Go check them out. Love you, everybody. Be safe. Be good. Let's keep on dancing. We'll